It's a beautiful grand set of buildings nestled in Auckland's North Shore, with an air of uncertainty as proposed job cuts hang over this campus. As many as 100 jobs are on the line at Massey, including from the schools of natural sciences and food and advanced technology, programmes that would cease to exist in Auckland. Only a year ago, a new innovation complex opened here, reportedly costing $120 million. Professor Diane Brunton shows us around. This space, this, all of these labs and the whole building really is built for the future. It's built for the next 20 to 40 years and the students and the staff and, and the growth that we will see in sciences. You know, here on the North Shore where you know, the population is just booming and it, it's not going to stop, it's just going to keep going. Professor Brunton is an expert in conservation biology and may lose her job as Massey deals with an expected shortfall of more than $50 million this year. We were in little huts, really. Really, they were little huts. They were temporary buildings um, and they were fitted out. Uh, if they were PC2 lab, they were fitted out that way. But they were like Lockwood houses, if anyone can remember that far back. But they are little prefabs. So they, they, were, they worked. I mean, we did, in fact, some of the, the best COVID research work was done on that campus by researchers that were here, uh, were with us then, and have gone since gone. Professor Brunton says Albany staff are determined to offer solutions to carry on, including with how they pay to use their space. Massey effectively charges rent to its colleges, and science takes up room. There's some solutions to that, and we've been working on them, and one of them is to have biotech companies in. and so we've had a number of biotech companies working in the molecular lab basically leasing out and we've got lots of ideas about other things but the instability that we're seeing at the moment makes that a bit tricky. The innovation complex is an award-winning building and a leader in its field. It's not just a science building, make that clear, there's lots of student space, uh, workspace, flexible teaching space but really the, the um, state-of-the-art really efficient labs up here on the third floor are everyone's enviable about. Among its jewels are a chamber for detecting spider vibrations and a facility that allows for experiments using live animals. Well this whole corridor is kind of the back of house, kind of the, the working part of this building. Uh, we've got here, we've got the new uh, marine wet lab. It's state of the art wet lab. The, the um, consultant who built this is extremely proud of it probably the one of the best in the country. Uh, it's a large facility, it has a large saltwater reticulation tank outside. So what would happen to all of this if there were no sciences in here? Um, I don't know, I really don't know. I mean, it's, it's not, some of these pieces of equipment are not the kind of thing that uh, a local biotech or a local company could come in and use. Professor Brunton says staff have to hope the proposal doesn't go through. She also says there are concerns about the quality of financial information available. The threat to cut courses from the Albany campus has left many students in limbo. While preparing for exams, they're also worrying about their futures, as third-year food technology student Cynthia Fan explains. The thing that really sucks is I, I have no idea, and we have no idea. They've pretty much, the uni has said that they will not speak to students. They say that they might make teaching plans for each individual student on a case-to-case -case basis, but they said that they won't get started with that until the decision goes through on the 27th of November, which is very late and people would have, it's very late to look for any accommodation or apply for any other uni. She says she's unlikely to move to Palmerston North to continue her product development studies. My situation per, uh, personally, I have sports here in Auckland as well that I can only do in Auckland. I'm also, I love Auckland, right? All of my friends are here. My support system is entirely here. I have no one in Palmy. Um, and all my lecturers, people that I've built connections with, they're all here. Cynthia Fan says she'd like to see the university focus on helping its students. I think the first week everyone was hard panicking. I don't think, I think a lot of people mix lectures. They just don't have energy because they tell you to keep going then as if nothing has happened and it's kind of like a bit ridiculous you can't really just do that and they say you work hard to get through this year but if the whole degree is removed then it's kind of what did you work hard for. Messi says it will consider feedback for alternative revenue however its need to improve its finances is urgent. Under its proposal, some science programmes would remain in Auckland and no final decisions have been made about specific equipment should courses cease. 
it says total expenditure and the costs breakdown for the innovation complex are unavailable.